Hey everybody, Howard Partridge coming to you and I am coming to you from the Destin Dream Beach is what I call it and uh, thrilled to be here with you on Ziegler family and I want to talk to you about community and I have a question for you and that question is this. Have you ever been in the same room with someone that you love and they were plugged into their digital device and not paying any attention to you? And by the way, have you been that person? I know I have. <laughs> the fact is, is that every human being has a longing for belonging. Would you agree with that? We all want to feel loved. We all, all want to feel validated. We all want to feel like our lives matter, that we're important. And we are. You know, we're more connected today digitally than ever before. I mean, the fact that I can come to you from such a beautiful place uh, on my iPhone is amazing and that we can connect like this. But community is about real connection. You know, a virtual community is an oxymoron. Uh, real community, true community requires the human touch and community starts at home with our families. So even though we're connected more digitally than ever before, we seem to be more alone and isolated than ever before. We need true community. And what I wanna to talk to you about today is a simple way to just start connecting. There's actually three parts to building true community and building a sense of belonging in your family or even in your business or even any other group that you happen to belong to. And I wanna share those three things with you, but I'm gonna share a very simple thing, one thing that you can do this week as the challenge to uh, begin to connect better with your family, all right? Well, first of all, community is built through three parts, support, encouragement, and accountability. Support is simply helping people have the life that they wanna have, have the things that they wanna have, help them get what it is that they want. You know, Zig said you can have everything in life you want if you just help enough other people get what it is that they want. The second is encouragement, and encouragement is the emotional fuel that we all need to do those things that we're maybe a little afraid to do. And so we encourage one another, and Zig said that encouragement is the hope, or is the fuel that on which hope runs. And we all need hope. Today, in today's digital world, hope is in short supply. So we can encourage one another in our family to connect better and to, to create that sense of community. You know, community starts with the family. That's the first community that we belong to. If we get it right, then the foundation of our lives is right. And then third is accountability. And it's not just doing what you're supposed to do and doing what you know that you're supposed to do, but it's also becoming the person that you were created to be. You see, God made you for a purpose, a specific purpose. You have a specific destiny and we need community. We need the support, the encouragement and the accountability around us to uh, help us to reach that destiny and become the person that God created us to be. And as Zig has taught us, most human beings suffer from a poor self-image. All of us do to one degree or another. We need one another to remind us of who we are and whose we are. So it's support, encouragement, and accountability. And here's my challenge for you. My challenge for you is to simply find someone in your family this week to support to help them with some specific thing and then go the extra mile. You know, Zig said, do something and then some. You know, give something and then some. So add a little something to it. You know, in uh, Louisiana, they have this thing called a laniap, which means a little something extra. And uh, by the way, that idea of going the extra mile, Jesus said that. He said, if someone asks you to go a mile, go two. And that uh, term came from the Roman times when Jesus lived, and a Roman soldier could ask a Roman citizen to carry their gear, which was about 80 pounds, for a mile. And legally, they had to carry that pack for a mile. However, Jesus said, go two miles. Most people, what do you think they would do? They would, they would take that pack and they would step off a mile, and then they would go, and they would then 
drop that pack right then and there. But Jesus said, go to. What do you think happened in the mind of the Roman soldier when the person willingly took interest in them and went the second mile? Well, the fact is, is that they would probably be curious about that person. And so your family member, when you go the extra mile for them, and when you do it, then some, do some more for them, give them a little lanyard, they're gonna appreciate that. And you're gonna have an impact in their life. You know, my wife and I have an agreement. Our family agreement is that every morning I unload the dishwasher and she loads it. So every morning I get distracted and I want to do it a little bit later and she happens to get up before I think she will and you know, did you do the dishwasher yet? Howard, did you do the dishwasher? Oh, I didn't do it yet. And then I decided one day that I was going to go the extra mile. And I decided that I would not only unload the dishwasher, but I would do quote unquote her part also. And I would load it as well and clean up the kitchen. She was thrilled. So now I do that every single day. And she is so grateful to wake up every morning to a beautiful kitchen. Now that's just a small thing and it's not hard to do, but it's meaningful to her. So that's my challenge to you is remember that community starts at home. It's not a geographic area. It's not a neighborhood. It's family. Community is family. And we build a sense of community by connecting personally and supporting one another, encouraging one another, and helping one another become who they are created to be through accountability. And your challenge this week is to simply find a way to support someone and then go the extra mile and then some. I'm Howard Partridge coming to you from the Destin Dream Beach. Take care.